over to Acoli, who tried to give it right back, but McLaughlin missed and returned to the match. No substitute has come out to midfield. So Pittsburgh will play it man down for a moment. Decision on his part tonight, right there. Michael Green, aggressive, knowing how Cincinnati can hurt you if you make a mistake. Under the soccer pitch here at the campus of the University of Corbin Bone to Sean Acoli. Self a native of Costa Rica, but interestingly enough, was born in Somerville, New Jersey. Been the goalkeeper for the first six matches this season. Can he, can he beat them both? Nearly. But finally, it's Michael leading 1-0 in the 40th minute, thanks to the second goal. Now Pittsburgh picking it up with Drew Russell over to the right. Paul. And he might have hesitated a little bit instead of cutting in front of the defender there. She's over Jimmy McLaughlin. Brandon Artis blows the whistle. He is so disruptive. A first whistle from the match official did not come quickly. Jimmy McLaughlin looking to make a run down the near side. That ends up being pushed out of bounds. And Brandon Artis is going to reach to his right pocket. And he will pull out a yellow card on Stefan Okai. The midfielder out of Ghana goes into the book in the 54th minute. Easy call for Brandon Artis as McLaughlin had him beat. And Okai hooked him and pushed him out of bounds. Hey, what you explain? Couldn't get to it. Polak heads it forward. Misfired and went way over his head out of bounds. Very impressed with Herzog. Tireless worker. Okai gets two defenders to fall down, doesn't shoot, leaves it for Milano, who skies it over the goal. Still great pressure by Pittsburgh here. Okai got Tomaselli and Kenny Walker to miss on the same play. Yep. They have provided support throughout every home match, but certainly today as FC Cincinnati trying to win. Third was looking for McLaughlin who was making a run. Got intercepted by Pittsburgh. And the River Hounds will turn it the other way. Kevin Kerr across midfield as Kenny Walker catches up with him. Leaves it for Okai. Okai gets around Walker. Back to Kerr. Kerr. Okai back in and gets a touch in Orlando City B a week and a half ago. His first of the season today here at Nippert Stadium where the sun has come. Cleared over the head by Emmanuel. I think for, for any team in this league, you've got to be a fortress at home. And, and with a stadium like Highmark Stadium, uh, that that has to be a, the 29 unbeaten streak. Yes. And, and that's where the river rounds. I think that's. Uh, Russell faces up against a jetty. Fed it back to Okai, Maloto, and Green. Gets through Garbanzo to keep possession. And now the Hounds regathering them. And not just work his way into that. And, you know, I'm anxious to see how he adapts to Dave Brandt's coaching style. This great little tie. Full depth play. Yeah, but this. Stephen Okai, Stephen terrific Okai. ball and into the attack. And uh, Okai did well to find him and almost had eyes in the back of his head to flick that on to, to, to Corey Herzog. Whenever I talk to casual soccer fans, non soccer, he tugs on Corey, Corey's shirt and Corey falls back. It's, it's going to be an automatic. Spent a lot of time with the general manager of uh, DC United, David Casper, who that is a concern. Uh, uh, Jordan Morrell trying to get back, couldn't get goal side, and really just could. He's on this Riverhounds roster with the affiliation agreement with that team right down the road. Mike Anhauser, who's been around for such a long time, is is able to provide that stability. Uh, Andrew Bell, there, uh, you know, where they they feel they need to improve, and it, it's it is difficult. And, uh, Working a lot of new players it was made something happen there. Zach Prince was up the field, but he couldn't get the ball. Yeah, I think if they would have found him. Kerr. Kevin Kerr. And Maloto. Can he make something happen? Okai. The feed to Murrell and back to Okai. Vincent turns and 
distributes to Okai and right back to Rob Vincent. Well, we line up a big shot. He, he runs. Oh! And he scored! Rob Vincent. He looked up, thought about giving it to Russell. Instead, he feeds Okai. Just the one substitution at the half. And Tobago players that we talked about, he has several, in fact, dozens of caps with the National League in a CONCACAF Champions League game two for DC. He is back. Uh, hello as well as maybe a formal goodbye as well because it was very abrupt when he signed on with DC of course Hounds fans thought he had a shot but maybe not ready to let Robbie go who was national looks on as the opponent the River Hounds have the ball the Hounds in there for Charleston to play out of the back Dave Brandt the Hounds new coach left the collegiate ranks as the winningest active push in there pushing their outside backs Morrell and, and Russell up great cover from Campbell to, to come across as he got around Russell to a little bit and, and you know one of the interesting changes that noticing right away is tight and allows that space for for Drew Russell so they're they're really going to try to put some pressure so again a, a definitely different look than than what we've seen Okaf franchise as here's the counter for the River Hounds Kerr Sides it off to Russell, who's more switching it. You can really see that, uh, you know, uh, and not just work his way into that. And, uh, I'm anxious to see how he adapts to Dave Brandt's coaching style with this. Great little Okai touch. Gone. Oh, my. Moves it across to Green. Okai down the initial corner kick, and it nearly led to where he says play on, but the United give it right away to the Hounds, and it's Stephen Okai. The Ghanians from Kevin Curry, Ed Chabrillo, and uh, I think Greeny were in, you know, making some runs into the... To Richmond occasionally this season. But here he had, so... Okioma, many seasons in Charlotte. There is a second ball. Hunt will. Hunt, Okai, and That's tight a nice quarters. That's they could get on if Kerr can get... Some backspin on that. It checks up oh, on a parlay. Oh. Kerr is fighting Penalty. for it. Seeing the hounds knocking the ball around and keeping possession, still making it very difficult for the DC to... Off expertly by United, and but Hunt. taking it away is... Oh, what a ball. Oh. Kai to green. Oh. Save. Sends a checking ball across the middle of... Jeffrey Silva. Oh, well read there. Oh, Cosman can have more of an effect on a, a field like well, this. Well, and also wondering too, they, uh, you know, after they had a concert here Sunday, and then they were out raking the field yesterday. It's one v one. Silva back uh, into the middle of the box and nudging across to a little bit of rhythm there, Paul, and some and some pretty good movement off the ball with a lot of quick. Of like absorb that for a little while, and hopefully he'll start putting some pressure back on again. Chu, oh. the back heel flick from Doyle, and Okai covered that up, and he has forwards, lays it back to the defender, Hunt. Corey a goal in the early going for United. Loves to get one of his backs and one of his holding defenders upfield at most time. One-twos and, one and uh, create some opportunities. Throw comes in. Okai. Quick got away with it, but uh, good movement. Okai. Leaping play, wins the ball. That's Steven nice Okai, pass. return for Hunt. Can he catch Abrillo? Halsey with nice work. Oh, nice but there's pass. a Abrillo. one hopper. Kerr back to the goal oh. for Mike Green. Kerr was hit. He wanted a call, not oh, going to get it. 